Hello, this is Solar TV TV from the sunny today Dhaka, the capital of Bangladesh. We are very excited to be together with uh, Professor Yunus, a Nobel Peace Prize laureate 2006, but also father of three things. So father of microcredit, father of social business, but also father of solar energy in Bangladesh. A lot of children. <laughs> a lot of children. So I am so glad uh, to see you, Professor Yunus. Thank you. And uh, Donobad for uh, supporting uh, Solar Future today. And I would like to make a thumbs up for Solar first, okay. and also for Solar Future today, and uh, Free Zero okay. for uh, your business uh, vision. So what I believe that uh, 2017 is a very critical year. Uh, for the world. What we experience today is uh, that the world is bipolarizing in terms of politics and even uh, in terms of the wealth share. So I liked very much uh, your comparison to the mushroom, yes, that we have like, you know, the big mushroom, a lot of money, which is owned by very few people. And we have also the very thin and thinner and thinner part yeah. which is you know millions billions of people with very little uh, little money i think that uh, the world is changing the whole paradigm yes and on one hand we are changing the world towards clean energies on the other hand we cannot make this change if we don't change the business model towards sharing the benefits and also i think that solar energy is one of the ways that we can share our goods so i would like to ask you how would you connect let's say the visionary leaders from the Kintech and solar energies with your idea of social business? Well, the system, the economic system that you describe uh, is like a road that we take, mm -hmm. move on on that road, and that road takes us to a very specific destination. Mm -hmm. Make ourselves rich, make ourselves wealthy. Uh, as fast as you can move, you get lots of money. Uh, and that has created all this wealth concentration, all the problems of poverty, problems of absence of health care, housing, uh, you name it. And also threatening the whole environment, uh, creating a global warming situation, destroying the poss possibility of destroying the whole world. Mm -hmm. So that's the destination that we are facing. Now we want to create a world which doesn't have that. Mm -hmm. There will not be poverty, there will not be uh, threat to the planet, there will not be unemployment, there will not be people, homeless people. Uh, so that's it, you are defining a new destination. Mm -hmm. The picture of the new world. It's a new world. Mm -hmm. You cannot reach a new destination with the old road. Mm -hmm. If you want to go someplace different, your destination is different, mm -hmm. then you build a new road to get there. So that's our challenge right now, whether it's 2017 or 2018, we are still stuck with the old road. Mm -hmm. So we need to extract ourselves from the old road and have the creative power to build a new road so that we go to the new destination. Mm -hmm. So that's our challenge. That's where social business becomes a new road, a possibility that you can help this destination arrive early. Mm -hmm. And also you can uh, put in all the uh, other things which went wrong uh, in, in which was inside that uh, system, take that out. Financial system mm -hmm. uh, is helping people to get rich. Mm -hmm. So you build a new financial system, which doesn't make people, everybody, uh, the top people, richer and richer. Mm -hmm. A financial system which distributes wealth to everybody. So, so you decentralize decentralize the wealth. What if it decentralize the wealth? Wealth should not be concentrated. So this is like solar energy yes. is the third Absolutely, this is one way. Mm -hmm. And energy is a very important thing. It's a part of the environment. We cannot go on the fossil fuel. We are based, our economy is based on fossil fuel and it's threatening the world. So can we get out of the fossil fuel, a new road to be built mm -hmm. on the based on renewable energy? And that's where solar energy becomes so important because we have a free sunshine and you can convert the sunshine into energy. And it's demo and it, democratic also, yes? And it can be reached to every single home. You don't need a big company to bring exactly. it. You, every, every home can produce its own electricity, provided you give them the opportunity to have that. 
uh, with solar energy and so on and uh, get out of the dirty energy mm -hmm. and go to the clean energy and that's why solar energy is so important and bring the technology so that solar energy becomes cheaper and cheaper and mm -hmm. cheaper every day so that question of spending money on solar energy disappears completely because already solar became Cheaper, yes. Than it's the cheaper, fossil, but yeah? it, still, it still can be cheaper. Uh, of course, yes, yes. It will be that's the direction. at least uh, two times no, no, cheaper. It will much, access. much cheaper. Yes. When we began, uh, yeah, because you are pioneer. Actually, yes. yeah. uh, it is extremely expensive. Mm -hmm. But as we moved on, it became cheaper and cheaper. But and cheaper. still, you develop the business model, yes, which yes, allows absolutely. anyway. If still it was it so works, expensive, that it, it works. Yeah. So now it, it can be even uh, much, much easier. Much easier. Much easier if, it put our, if we put our mind into it, mm -hmm. it can become so easy to pay for it. Mm -hmm. Because I don't want to focus on solar energy with you, Professor Yunus, because yesterday we spoke uh, with Ahmed, the CEO of uh, Gramen Solar, and I have to say that it's quite impressive that in uh, one country we have almost two million home systems, yeah? No, no, it's not true. One, point one company, one company. One, one company, company yes, has yes. nearly two million households. That's Gramin Shakti. Mm -hmm. But there are other uh, people who are involved in solar mm -hmm. energy, ah, okay. imitating what Gramin Shakti has done. Or some, so some they are coming from Gramin yeah, also. Yes. Sure. Yes. So, so together, the total homes reach would be over three million homes. So which means like 15, 20 million people. Absolutely. One eighth of population of uh, yeah. Bangladesh. Okay, Professor Yun, so in practice, yes, how would you imagine, because uh, as you might notice in solar energy, in clean energies, there were a lot of crazy people, yes, who were wanting to change the world, maybe not in your way, but in their own ways, yes. And so what I believe that it would be great if you can combine, you see, social business with uh, uh, minds of uh, leaders of the solar and clean tech energy. And how, how, how do you think that we can combine efforts? Uh, Everybody is welcome. Mm -hmm. The problem is to uh, get them engaged, to focus on the problem of renewable energy, mm -hmm. how to bring renewable energy and make uh, poor people, deprived people uh, to access that uh, energy. Mm -hmm. So that's the first task. Then we try to do it in a way uh, what we call social business. Mm -hmm. We take the profit motive out of our business, we put it in a solution mode, we are only thing we are trying to achieve by our company, by our business like Raman Shakti, mm -hmm. to solve their problem. So when the profit motive is gone, we can make it cheaper, we can make it more uh, robust, mm -hmm. because that's the only objective we have. And we try to put uh, attention to the extremely uh, poor people, people absolutely at the bottom mm -hmm. of everybody else. So that becomes our first goal. Mm -hmm. We're not trying to make money and reaching yes. out to wealthy people. And especially it was important when the so solar was so expensive. Expensive, in the past. yes. Mm -hmm. That was very, very challenging for us. Mm -hmm. We could have made money mm -hmm. on the other hand, but we didn't do that. We wanted to get to mm -hmm. the poor people and make it affordable for that part. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's what, if anybody wants to make money in the solar energy, that's welcome because they are bringing renewable energy. Mm -hmm. uh, but our area is to how to make it uh, cheaper, and more uh, focused on the poor people. But do you think uh, if it's only necessary to focus with the social business ideas on the poor people? Because if you would like to make the change of the paradigm of the world, yes? So like, for example, what we believe, solar will become like 100%, yes? Almost 100% of energy. And what I believe, and this is my feedback to you, that social business can be also mainstream business sure. in the future. Absolutely. So, That's not only mean. for poor people, but it can be... All people. Exactly. Oh, it's here. That's our objective. Ah, okay. So it, it's not, not only just... It will be mm -hmm. so efficient, mm -hmm. solar uh, or any other energy uh, will be done in a such an efficient way through social business that other companies, other mm -hmm. people will gradually become smaller and smaller player in the whole thing. It's not that we want to quit push them out, uh -huh. simply uh, they have more attraction for, for the consumers, they have more and more expanded market for them uh, uh -huh. because people uh, see that these are people who are not trying to make money out of me, uh -huh. they're trying to serve us to solve our problems well, by, and by appreciation of their service, of their mo motive, motives uh -huh. and ob objectives, they will gradually be drawn. So over time I would expect 
mm -hmm. that social business will get bigger and bigger mm -hmm. ratio. And hope for also from, you know, only just, let's say, helping the poor people to become less, like the most fashionable business model, yes? Sure. Oh. Absolutely. And how do you think that uh, it can be done? By demonstrating, by showing, it's not that uh, you can push other people by mm -hmm. physical strength. Simply, people will prefer you, people will come to buy from you mm -hmm. uh, because you are better, you are cheaper, you are more friendly to consumers, and so on and so forth. If you can establish that, mm -hmm. all people will come to you. Because we can make uh, two kinds of therapies, yes? Either shock therapy or the therapy step by step. Because, I don't know, I don't think that maybe it will be so easy to persuade the big businessman suddenly to change totally their business mind. How do, how do you think? How this can be achieved? No, we are not doing any shock therapy or anything. Mm -hmm. We simply demonstrate why we do that. Some people get attracted to that idea. Some people say, no, I want to do it my way. So they will do mm -hmm. that. So I will, we are hoping as um, more and more younger generation of businesses will come, mm -hmm. they will be more inclined towards social business than the older generation. Uh, because they got used to the old, older way of doing business. That, that's why uh, the idea of the social business academia, yes? That's so, right. Ah, okay. So that you can penetrate into the minds of the young people. They can see the difference between social business and profit, personal profit-making business. Mm -hmm. And they have to choose whether I should do the personal profit-making business mm -hmm. or I should do the uh, social businesses, which doesn't give me any profit personally. Mm -hmm. So these are the things they have to decide. It's a by natural evolution it will happen. It's not that somebody will be physically removed. Because I think that uh, this is a great idea, yes, to take, to uh, teach the new businessmen coming. Absolutely. But also when it comes to the existing uh, businessmen, maybe the easiest idea would be with those who already have their contributing minds. Sure. Like uh, solar uh, and clean tech leaders. Yes, of course. Yeah. We have been doing uh, business, social business with the very old, mm -hmm organization, business houses like Danone, mm -hmm. uh, they became very attracted to the idea of social business, they wanted to so do social business, so we do social business with them. Mm -hmm. They come and create social business company in Bangladesh to solve the problem of malnutrition in Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. We work with many other big companies like that, with Uniqlo of Japan, mm -hmm. we create social business. They are very seasoned, uh, big global uh, players in businesses, but they like the idea of social business. They create a separate company to mm -hmm. do social business. And that's what we advise. Don't try to do it both in mm -hmm. the same company. Mm -hmm. Do it separately in a separate company. And then they if this solar business, sol social business is becoming more and more important, yeah. afterwards it's easier to implement on the exactly. corporate level. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so last question, Professor Yunus, because uh, we had like three days of very intensive uh, workshops, conferences, etc. And I would like to ask you, what drives you? You know that still you found time to speak with us, and uh, how do you get you know this well, it's motivation? Well, it's an exciting journey. People mm -hmm. see that it's happening, and they come with their enthusiasm. So once enthusiasm touches you, you get more excited about it. Uh, so it's a mutual inspiration, actually. When we meet together for three days, uh, we meet like a family members mm -hmm. who are sharing their experience and excitements of the two. Uh, one of the basic there are seven principles of mm -hmm. social business. Mm -hmm. One of the principles is do it with joy. Yes, exactly. Yeah, so we well, do this it is what we are doing in yeah, Solar exactly, today. Yeah? Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And it makes you feel so happy. Mm -hmm. I said making money is a happiness. Mm -hmm. Making other people happy is a super happiness. So we enjoy the super happiness because we work for other people. Okay, so the word 4.0, how it will look like? Final picture of the world will uh, be like a new civilization. Mm -hmm. This civilization that we are going through is a civilization based on greed. Mm -hmm. So we were trying to protect ourselves from the greed because greed has created a lot of problems. Mm -hmm. uh, once, uh, but we are not a human being all about greed. Uh, we are a human being with lots of empathy, lots of selflessness. So that needs about to be sharing, yes. sharing. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we move from greed-based uh, civilization to human values-based civilization. Mm -hmm. So that's the transition we have to make very quickly. You can count on the support from the we'll solar and like clean tech we'll uh, community. Like and thank you. thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, Donabat. Donabat. Thank you so thank much. You.